Hey GED students, we are looking at the beginning level practice of the basic operations. That's unit zero, lesson one of the crash course. Let's take a look at this example, which is, let's see, number 33 on our practice. It says, write the product of six and seven as an arithmetic expression. Guys, I'm just trying to throw like a lot of math language at you get you used to some math language first of all whether i ask you to write an arithmetic expression or translate a phrase into an arithmetic expression i'm asking you to do the same thing i'm asking you to take words and use math symbols to say the same thing so we're going to start with words and we're going to translate it into math symbols that's all i mean <laughs> okay so stop panicking Okay, so I want you to take what words? These words, the product of six and seven. So first thing you have to know is that lovely vocab word from our lesson. And like I've said before, this is probably the most important vocab word from this lesson to take away with you because they favor it on the GED. They like to use it. So what does product mean? Well, the product means a multiplication expression or it's simplified answer. When I use the word expression, I use it the way you guys use like problem. I think of it like a math phrase, like a, um, it tells me the numbers and it tells me what I'm doing with the numbers. Um, and that's what I'm writing here. Notice it says as an arithmetic expression. So you don't actually have to do any math. So stop freaking out about that. All you have to do is like write this as a phrase in math instead of in English. So product says we're going to multiply. And what numbers are we going to multiply? Well, it's the product of six and seven. So we're going to multiply six and seven. Now, you could write it like this. You know, you're not wrong. Go ahead. Go for it. Uh, it's one of the right answers down at the bottom. But it's not how we usually write it in algebra. So if it were me, I'd try to start practicing the way you're going to see it written on the test. It would more likely be written using parentheses. Six times seven. Lazy mathematicians like to do uh, the six outside of the parentheses. So... The basic idea here is if you if you have two numbers shoved together and the only thing between them is a parentheses, they are multiplying. And I mean, both of the numbers could be in parentheses. That would mean the same thing. You could even use the little dot we learned. That would mean the same thing. Or dear goodness, if you really wanted to, you could use the star like they do in computers, uh, a lot of computer industries. But whatever, what I'm asking you to do is write what you guys think of as the problem. I call it the expression with the numbers and the sign and then you don't have to do anything I didn't ask you to simplify in fact the directions in the worksheet say do not simplify okay we are practicing translating right now language to language English to math all right if you have any questions about this or any other GED topic be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it